Monitor Mom back here with our three bassinets. So we're going to go through what we purchased pre-pregnancy, our impulse pur purchase uh, when the baby was two months old, and then what I wish I would have purchased. Uh, so before I start, thank you for thank you for tuning in and watching this video. Hit like and subscribe. If you do like these videos, I will continue to make them and. Um, it does help the YouTube channel. I have my daughter here. She'll probably comment a little as we as we go through the video as well. So here's our first bassinet. We had the Fisher Price portable bassinet. My baby loved this little bassinet. Um, she slept in it. Uh, this is what we started her in, and this is what she wanted to sleep in. So this has all the functions of a of a big bassinet like this Greco bassinet. It's got. Um, it's got the outdoor music, the birds chirping. It has got um, the songs and it's got the vibration. The other thing that I really liked about this is it has like a little starry night. So in the dark, you can put this on, it's got a little light and uh, it shows stars above here. And she just loved to look at that. So why I bought this bassinet originally was because I thought that you know, at night I would sleep upstairs and this bassinet would come with me. And then in the, in the, during the day, I would bring this bassinet downstairs cause it's portable. And then the, the baby would sleep um, down here with me. So it's very, very portable. That's what I thought. What ended up happening, oh, sorry, it pulls up. Um, but what ended up happening was uh, we had a, or I ended up having a, emergency c-section and I did not plan on the recovery so once I got home I was not able to walk up and down the stairs let alone carry anything up and down the stairs including baby so once we got home that idea of oh I'm gonna take the bassinet up and down totally out the window um, so what we ended up doing was this was going to be so we used this bassinet for the first month that that our daughter was uh, that our daughter was born and then impulse by was this bassinet here because around that second month she was just up all night crying and would not fall asleep makes had her days and nights mixed up I'm sure parents, you can relate. I was tearing my hair out and I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like, I just want to sleep and I just want her to sleep as well. So three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> bye bye baby, online. I was like, let me just try this. I was just desperate. So this came and I was super pumped. Um, this has got a great mattress. It's a lot bigger than uh, the bassinet inside. It seems to just be a lot more roomier. And then this Fisher Price one, um, it does automatically rock. So if the baby kicks, it automatically rocks. It's also got all those fun functions. If the baby starts crying, it's got an automatic crying detector and it will start rocking. It has a white noise function. Um, it has music and it has the outdoor bird song. It has the vibration and it has the rocker as well. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, um, so that my daughter wants to comment. Now she did take. What ended up happening is this stayed downstairs in our living room, um, and she took her daily naps here. And then our Fisher, our good old Fisher Price bassinet, stayed upstairs in the bedroom as a bassinet for us. Um, our daughter ended up starting to sleep longer in this Fisher Price bassinet, and then. The Greco bassinet was just more for <laughs> for during the day or what I call a drop zone. If I came down, once I was getting stronger, if I came downstairs, I needed um, a place to put her down and I didn't want to put her down on the floor, I would put her in this bassinet. Um, so that worked out well for us, but unfortunately for this bassinet, I was just a little late in purchasing. And by the time we purchased this one, our daughter was already used to uh, this little Fisher Price bassinet. Now, the purchase, what I wish I'd gotten, or what I wish I originally gotten when um, 
pre-pregnancy was I do wish I had the Greco bassinet to keep upstairs in the bedroom. Um, I think, you know, it's great. It's mesh. You can, you can see your baby through this mesh, which is great. So if you're just in bed and you want to look at your baby, you can do that. Um, this Fisher Price one was really low to the ground, so that wasn't an option. Uh, I do also like how this Greco one is higher, so it's not like you're bending down and picking up. So that was really nice as well. The, again, the Fisher Price one, like you really have to like bend and pick up. Um, I know your babies are very light at that moment, but after going through labor and and for those of you at a C-section and those surgeries, you know, it, it, it would just be nicer to have something higher. Uh, now what I wish I'd gotten was the Four Moms Breeze Plus Go, uh, the Breeze Plus. So this is just the Breeze, not the Breeze Plus. The Breeze Plus is the one that has the bassinet attachment along with the diaper change attachment as well. I think it retails for around three hundred dollars. Um, I wish I had that for for the living room. And the reason why I wish I had that for the living room is we do have a smaller living room. Um, we're definitely in a cozier house. And the four moms, just the ease of pulling this up if needed is great now after baby like you know when your baby's like one or two months um you need to pick this up you're not gonna be uh, i'm just gonna say definitely consult with your doctor this four moms is heavy so um, i would definitely recommend getting assistance when trying to lift this or move this when it's compacted right after you give birth especially like within the first like three months or so but uh, everybody's strengths is different, everybody's ability is definitely different, but I do wish that I had the Four Mom Breeze Plus, the one that came with the bassinet and the changing table to have down in the living room. The reason for that is, um, one, it would grow with the baby. So now I use this as a pack and play. Um, so I like how it would grow with the baby. I also like the portability. Um, for me, personally, huge fan of portability. Anything that can collapse, any type of toy that can collapse, I'm in, sold. I love portability products. Again, that's just because um, I am in just a, a, a cozier home, so we, we're limited on space. So those are my three reviews. The bassinet that we bought, our impulse buy, and what I wish I would have gotten. Uh, I hope you like this video, and um, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you sticking with me, and I'll see you on the next video.